Termo News presents Advancements in Transport Technology. Evacuated tube transport uses airless vacuum tubes, which move faster and use less energy to travel between destinations. Six-person capsules travel in the tubes on frictionless maglev tracks and can reach a maximum speed of 6,500 km per hour. It produces a maximum of 1 g of force at top speed. Passengers would not experience any discomfort. Evacuated tubes can be built for one-tenth the cost of a high-speed rail system and a quarter the cost of a freeway. The tubes could travel from New York to LA in 45 minutes and from New York to China in just two hours. The stunt ramp has dual loops. It measures 700 feet long and 60 feet tall. Drivers must obtain a speed of 52 miles per hour. The speed combined with the car's 3,000 pounds of weight help it to achieve 7 Gs of force. If the speed is too slow, the cars could drop off the ramp. The futuristic highway can save energy while improving road safety and will debut mid next year. Glow in the dark road markings use photoluminescent paint, which charges during the day and can light roads for up to 10 hours at night. The temperature responsive road paint shows ice crystal patterns when temperatures fall below zero to warn drivers of slippery roads. Interactive lights light up when vehicles approach and dim as they pass by saving energy when there is no traffic on the road. Wind lights get energy from roadside pinwheel generators. They light up using the draft produced by passing vehicles. Induction priority lanes are layered with induction coils under the tarmac to recharge electric cars as they drive. The various technologies will be introduced in the Dutch province of Brabant starting mid-2013. Germany is set to test two electric buses equipped with wireless inductive charging technology in Mannheim. The buses are equipped with a power receiver system, a power management system, traction motor and a battery for energy storage. Cables and windings that provide power transfer to the vehicle are installed under the road surface. Buses can be recharged when they stop to let passengers hop on and off. The technology allows quick charging and is emission-free. Toyohashi University of Technology has developed rubber wheels that conduct electricity by using high-frequency electric currents. The concept is similar to that of the electric transmission of a train. The road acts like the overhead power line and the wheels are the current collectors. The car gets power as it travels on the metal embedded in the road surface. The technology will be used to minimize the size of batteries in electric cars. It can also be used for transport that has fixed routes, such as airport vehicles and buses. Researchers at Keio University are working on a system that makes the backseat of a car invisible, so that drivers can see what is behind them when backing up. A camera on the back of the car feeds images to a projector located on the driver's headrest. The back seat is covered with thousands of highly reflective beads to shine light in certain directions to create the illusion of partial invisibility. The technology could be used to develop photovoltaic airplane windows. The window would be constructed out of materials such as polarizing film, photovoltaic transparent glass and batteries. The technology would allow natural or artificial light to charge the window's battery. The stored electricity can power other devices on the plane, such as lights. The windows would also be able to dim from clear to dark and vice versa. Volkswagen's hover car concept car was inspired by its People's Car Project, an open source project in China where people submit ideas for new cars. Hover car was designed to be a solution to congestion in Chengdu. The car would hover along electromagnetic road networks. Such a project would take advantage of the abundance of minerals, especially magnetite, found around Chengdu. Hovercar features an auto navigation mode and voice activation system. Safety sensors help it maintain a safe distance from nearby cars. The TFX flying car is slated to be a vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Propellers help the car to take off and gain speed, much like the propellers of a helicopter. 
The car, which can seat four passengers, uses autopilot once in the air. The wings fold into the car so it can be driven on roads and parked in normal garages. The hoverbike's inventor borrowed the idea for the hoverbike from the Chinook helicopter. Upward thrust is increased via a throttle grip operated with the right hand. Forward and backward motion is controlled using the left hand. The hoverbike's theoretical hover ceiling is greater than 10,000 feet, with a range of 92 miles. Potential uses for the hoverbike include viewing wildlife and search and rescue work. The EDAG light concept car caters to people looking for mobility without the drawbacks of car ownership. An illuminated LED surface in three colours gives a highly visible indication of the car's status. The rear glass double doors can act as an illuminated billboard for advertising. Locating and booking a car can be done using a smartphone. When parking the car or opening the doors, a laser projects a safety zone onto the road, ensuring passengers can get in and out safely. The car will drive itself. Passengers will only have to indicate their destination. The Skytran system consists of pods that hang from overhead connectors levitated by magnetism. Each pod carries two people, giving the riders privacy and a quiet ride due to the pod's magnetic suspension. The pods can be hailed by computer, tablet or smartphone and arrive almost instantaneously. The pods enter a continuously moving stream and only stop at their destination. A group of tech engineers have designed a bicycle that flies like a helicopter. The flying bike, or F-bike, has a light mountain bike style frame with twin propellers in the front and back, stabilizers on each side, and lithium batteries for power. Twin propellers provide most of the power for lift. Side propellers stabilize the bike. The F-bike can stay airborne for three to five minutes. The Unicub is weight shift controlled and offers movement in all directions. Anyone weighing between 40 to 100 kilograms and who is 150 to 190 centimeters tall can ride the vehicle. The pod can move in any direction by using three types of wheel. Users control direction and speed by shifting their weight or from their smartphone or tablet. The Uticup can travel freely and comfortably among moving people at a top speed of six kilometers per hour. Its mobility and size are designed for indoor environments such as offices, museums, and airports. The boosted board prototype is built on an elongated skateboard. It weighs 12 pounds and has a 2000 watt brushless electric motor. It has a top speed of 20 miles per hour. Regenerative braking uses kinetic energy generated while the board is moving to recharge the battery. Developers claim half of all trips people take in cars are less than five miles. The booster board would be a cheaper and more eco-friendly alternative for such trips. Its small size and lightweight allow it to be carried on public transportation. All components of the bike, including the handlebars, seat, frame, and wheels are made from cardboard. Some parts, such as the wheels, are cutouts. while others, including the seat, require origami-inspired folding. Folding increases the strength of the cardboard and allows the bike to withstand up to 225 kilograms in weight. A resin layer is first applied to make the bike waterproof. Then, the bike is spray-painted. The assembled bike contains 100% recycled materials. The bike's inventor believes the price and eco-friendliness of the bike means it could be popular in both poor parts of the world such as Africa and metropolitan area. The beast seats up to seven people, with two in the front and four along with the president in the back. More tank than car, its bodywork is made from hardened steel, aluminium, titanium and ceramics with windows that can withstand armor-piercing bullets. 
The interior is completely sealed to shield the president from biochemical attacks. Its heavy armor-plated doors are 20 centimeters thick. A reinforced steel plate running underneath the vehicle protects it from roadside bombs. The presidential limousine has tear gas cannons and a night vision camera installed in front, as well as a pump-action shotgun. Extra weapons, an oxygen supply, and bottles of the president's blood type are also on board. The fuel tank is armor-plated and encased in foam to prevent it from exploding. The tires are puncture and shard resistant, with steel rims that allow the car to continue driving even if the tires are destroyed. In the US, the presidential limousine displays the American flag and the presidential standard. When in a foreign country, the presidential standard is replaced by that country's flag. These brightly colored fiberglass escape pods could one day be used to save lives. Deadly tsunamis, like the one that ravaged Japan's northern coast on March 11th, are created when earthquakes occur at sea. Families would have just enough time to evacuate to their escape pod. The 300,000 yen escape pod can hold a family of four. Manufacturer Cosmo Power says it has orders for around 600 escape pods. The robot is four meters tall, weighs four tons, and has around 30 hydraulic joints. Its four-wheel legs make it easy to transport. It travels at a top speed of about 6.5 miles per hour. It can be controlled from inside its one-man cockpit. Or from the outside using any smartphone with a 3G connection. The robot auto-targets the enemy. Its Gatling gun shoots 6,000 BB bullets a minute. The gun is triggered when the pilot smiles. The Freedom ship will measure 107 meters in height, 230 meters in width, and 1,400 meters in length. It would feature an airport, a school, a hospital, a shopping center, and a casino. It will be able to accommodate 50,000 permanent residents with room for an extra 30,000 daily visitors. The ship will constantly sail around the world, making a full circuit every two years. Its planned route will begin on the American East Coast, cross the Atlantic into Europe, then sail around Africa and make its way to Australia and Asia before returning to the United States. Blue Marlin is the largest cargo transport ship in the world. It can carry up to 75,000 tons, measures 712 feet long and 138 feet deep, and has a deck the size of two football pitches. The deck is submersible and can be lowered 13 meters under the water's surface. The cargo is then floated into position, before the deck rises by emptying its ballast tank. Blue Marlin set a record when it delivered the world's largest offshore structure, BP's Thunder Horse oil rig, to Mexico from Korea. Its next voyage will see it carry an aircraft carrier from Spain to Australia. A Dutch group called Mars One plans to have humans living on Mars by 2023. The supply mission will use the SpaceX heavy lift rocket to launch a communication satellite and land 2,500 kilograms of food on Mars by 2016. Two rovers will prepare the site for the arrival of astronauts by 2021. All water, oxygen and atmospheric production equipment will be ready by 2022. The inflatable living units will have bedrooms, living space, a kitchen, a shower, work and plant growing areas. The first four astronauts will be sent to Mars by 2022. The trip to Mars via the Hoffman Transfer Orbit, the most convenient path between the planets, will take six to eight months. Astronauts will start living on Mars by 2023, carrying out construction and research work. A total of 40 astronauts will be sent. Felix Baumgartner will jump out of a helium balloon in the stratosphere. He wants to break several world records, including highest altitude freefall and fastest freefall. If he succeeds, he would become the first human to break the speed of sound without the aid of a machine. Bob Gartner will wear a pressurized suit that can withstand the force of a sonic boom, contain enough oxygen for the fall, 
and withstand temperatures of minus 70 degrees Celsius. Turn on News presents Advancements in Transport Technology.